Chicago gang members that died on April 2023. 11 murders. God damn. For 2023, every 3 hours and 28 minutes, a person is shot in Chicago. And every 15 what? hours and 16 minutes, a person is murdered in Chicago. Whereas though in 2022, every 2 hours and 26 minutes, a person was shot. And every 11 hours and 56 yo, minutes, be a real, person yo. was murdered. Most of these deaths are driven by gang violence. And I'm all wet up and he that he had. They just on OG clear phone. Clear, don't talk Yo, this has to be about yo. Who is yo? Who is in fucking North Korea watching Chicago niggas fucking live, bro? Hey, yo, man. Daughter, come out this crib. Stop doing all that wolfing. Y'all never outside. Ain't work on none of y'all. Why would you post that on live? Like, that makes no sense, bro. I like. I get he lived his life. And I get it, bro. It doesn't make sense, bro. Why? Like, why would you shot. post on live? And then last that? month alone, in April of 2023, 11 alleged games. Bro. This kid is like five years old, bro. No way, man. Bro, he's like six years old. Members died, and I have exclusive reasons why some of them died and which Blue gangs and set they were from. Right. From That's MOB cousin, members bro. to NLMB members, this has been a crazy month. Make sure you go check out my website. That's in the description where I post. Ex no. This has been a crazy month. YouTube and Instagram. G said they also go by Richway or Co Gang. Plus, this gang is located around Ohio and Richway and Ohio and Hamlin. It was April 2nd, 2023. Sean Dell Carter, aka Sean Dell from Damn, that nigga playing Warzone IRL. The bro got akimbo drumsticks. God damn, nigga. Yeah, he got two ops that day. I know he did. BBMG was in the 800 block of North Hamlin Avenue. At about 6 10 p.m., someone fired multiple shots, hitting three people, including Sean Del Carter. Yo, this editing might make me get a seizure, bro. I swear to God. From his injuries. And it was also a 16 year old boy who was shot and a 21 year old. He was close to Lil Marley and Chief Split. They was both from BBMG. Chief Split died in 2019 and Lil Marley died in 2020. This BBMG set is in a heavy war with multiple different sets like Oskino Gang, MMG, BTBG, Chain Gang, and Wadey Gang. Then on the same day on April 2nd, 2023, at around 10.30 p.m., Danny Johnson, aka Danny Slash Ghost, allegedly from the 358 Gang, was walking on a sidewalk in the 7900 block of South Drexel Avenue. When a passenger in a gray SUV fired shots right at around 10.30 p.m., he suffered from multiple gunshot wounds and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he died from his injuries. He was also Bro, that's sad, bro, because, like, niggas can just literally just be walking home, and then I know where a group of thugs just come up and just start blasting you, man. Like, this is real-life GTA RP. I'm not trying to make a joke out of it, but it's like, this is real-life GTA RP. And some, like, white kids want to live this life and want to fake this life, bro. And it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why, bro, you can't go outside. You can't, like, you can't go outside without looking behind your back, bro. You can't, you can't go to the store just, like, trying to chill, put some headphones in, just walk around. You can't do that, bro. And the sad part is, even sometimes, civilians get shot, too. I remember I saw a video, like, a little girl got shot, man. And it's just sad, bro. People really live this life. Like, it's really GTA RP. It's really war zone out there, man. Killed in Flipside Hood and Flipside allegedly beefs with right, Gutter Grove right, Stones. I'm, I'm right then, five days later, on April 7th, 2023, four people will be shot, one fatally in an apartment. Would you rather be in the streets of Chirac for an hour or the slums in Brazil for an hour? All right, me right now, I'd rather be in the streets of Chirac because, let's be real, if I just walk around as mind my business, I probably wouldn't get like murdered or I probably wouldn't get pressed as much as in Brazil. They're gonna know I'm American, bro. So they're gonna fuck with me, they're gonna rob me, they're gonna try to time me up. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like in Brazil, like I don't speak no language. They obviously know I'm from America, you know what I mean? So I'd rather be in Chicago than the slums in Brazil, bro. In the South Suburban Park Forest neighborhood, it was a gathering taking place at the Central Park Apartments in the 100 block of First Street. It all happened at around 3.30 a.m. when shots were fired. When police arrived, they found a chaotic scene with multiple people fleeing the scene. Police suddenly found out that it was an altercation between people attending the house party, which culminated to multiple people opening fire. 29-year-old Ladarius Williams, aka Lawski, he was from the Hideaway E block set. Plus this guy was also- And it's sad when you look at pictures like this, bro, because I'm not saying them, them, but like a lot of pictures like this, most of them are either dead or in jail. And, that, and that's really sad. Like, most of them dead ass are either dead or in jail, bro. And it's just like, damn, man. It, it's sad. Like, you, you can't say nothing about it. It's just genuinely sad.
also allegedly the brother of FBG Wooski, which I don't know how close he was with him, but this is a picture right here of Wooski hanging with E Block members. E Block slash Hottyway is located around 69th and Eberhard. They're named after a kid that died back in 2016. Jarvis Hayes was Bro, arrested for this murder back in 2016. He was arrested in his gym class at the age of 17 and is still Damn. locked up to this day. This next member will be a high ranking MOB member, which will be the result of another gang member from another gang losing their life later in the month. Where's it was your part of the videos coming up, bro? Don't worry Timothy about it. Timothy Taylor, up. aka Tim Millie from MOB, which is a set that beef heavy with NLMB. He was in the 700 block of South Lafayette Avenue when a vehicle approached and someone inside fired. Oh fire. God, this guy, this guy's making this video, he's from Baltimore, bro. You get his people out of accent. Avenue, like he, yo, Jacob Batugans. Shots. He was shot multiple times and was taken to the hospital where he later died at the age of 30. He allegedly went live right before he died, too. He was one of the top ranked members at MOB slash Scrap Gang, and this would be a big loss for MOB. Then it would be April 9th, 2023. Perry Boozer Jr., aka Lil Pooh from Flipside, was in the 800 block of 223rd Street. At around 11 24 p.m., someone fired shots. Killed Bro, that's a whole, he literally has a Warzone class, bro. What is that, chat? The fucking, um, the Kavok? I think that's a gun, I don't know. Bro, he has that, he just unlocked it, bro. He's level 56, he just unlocked it. And he has, like, he has a starter pistol off, bro. He just landed in, in fucking Chirac map in Warzone, bro. Killing 19-year-old Perry Boozer Jr. And allegedly, Hottyway has something to do with this murder. Here's video of a Hottyway member dissing him after he died. They check the spot news. My brother ain't went out And why would you post, like, see, like, bro, people crash out for clout. Like, why would you post get? this, bro? This was allegedly get back like, to the murder that's of Like, that's You just snitching, bro. only died two days before this. It would then be April 11th, 2023. Marcus Winters, a.k.a. Lil Marcus from Six Block, was walking in the 1600 block of West 66th Street when someone walked up on him and shot him multiple times in the chest and hit. And people he was allegedly dying killed in the after street, trying to bro, pump it, according man. to a Madville member. He was only 25 at the age of his death. Then on the next day on April 12, 2023, Sean Turner, aka Sean Stone from A Trey, was in the 1000 block of West 86th Street. When he was shot in his chest, he was taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. He was also allegedly killed in his own hood. And the gang that he was from, A Trey, is allegedly in a big war with King World from Foster Park. Somebody will comment, I remember baby Drake from A Trey getting locked up in early September of 2022 for killing D-Man from King World, who got killed on 86 in Erberdeen. Only a couple hours before his death, he posted on IG of him driving in the slingshot. But only three days later, on April 15th, 2023. Stop studying your own peoples, bro. Nah, I'm just looking like, this shit is genuinely sad, man. Like, it, like it's just sad, bro. There's people, they're just generations just gone. And there's kids growing up without brothers, cousins, dads, you know what I'm saying? It's just sad how people really live this life, man. Like, that is genuinely like that, bro. It's just sad how people, like, really live this life. And you got to take it for granted that some people don't live like this, bro. And I don't live like this. Three, Antoine Jackson, a.k.a. Twan slash 7mo from the GME Roblox set slash Rudeville 9 block, which Rudeville Black Disciples located on 108th and Wentworth and 109th and Wentworth. They beef with D-Block, Shannon Block, MMG, Larry Land, Ariel City, Ville, and East Spot. But Antoine Jackson was standing on the sidewalk in the 1300 block of South Champion Avenue when someone walked up on him and shot him in the chest and leg. He was also taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. It would then be April 18th, 2023, where a CMB member would lose their life. This gang stands for Cash Money Brothers and beef hard with a set called Dog Pound. Just look at this video of CMB sliding through Dog Pound's block. I've already been made. But on April 18th, 2023. My question is, why would you post that? Because now, look, people are already have, like, people record it, you know what I'm saying? Have it. Why would you post that, bro? Say you do want to kill somebody, you're snitching on yourself. Like, does that make sense? Like, if you're going to do this stuff, just don't post it. Leave your phone at home. Like, it doesn't make sense, bro. That's how people get caught most of the time, man. 
St. Paul police were investigating a shooting that took the lives of two people. That day, police were dispatched to an apartment building in the 1400 block of East Manahaha Avenue at around 5.43 a.m. When officers arrived, they located a woman that had been shot inside the apartment. Despite life-saving efforts, she died on the scene. The 18-year-old victim found shot dead was Jonathan Evans, aka Jono, allegedly from the CNB set. The two victims were cousins, and investigations believe that Jonathan took the female's life before taking his life. Even though this Wait, happened in what? Minnesota, he was still a well-loved CMB member. Wait, I'm confused. So, were they in the same crib? They was cousins. Did he shoot her? Then he killed himself. Like what? I'm, yo, I'm mad confused. I'm not gonna lie, man. Then two days later, on April 20th, 2023, Ronald Wilson, aka Double R, allegedly from the NFL. Bro, he's like 12. Olympia. Don't say blue ultra light, bro. Set was inside a car in the 2300 block of East 80th Street when he was struck in the chest by gunfire at 1 p.m. He would be pronounced dead at the scene at only the age of 14. Allegedly, this God was a get damn. back for the MOB member that died earlier in the month. Like, bro, your beef is grown ass men beef with 14 year olds. Are you serious? Like, are you dead ass man? But this one kind of hit hard because gang banging at only the age of 14 is a disaster waiting to happen. Only a day later on April 21st, 2023, John Hill, AKA Fat Boy from the THF 46 set was inside a house allegedly on Wolver World's territory. When someone inside the house started shooting at about 1.36 p.m., he would die at only the age of 27 years of age. This would mark the 11th gang member that died on the month of April of 2023. My prayers and condolences go out to the families that lost their loved ones in this war, but that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like, or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. Bro, it's just sad. Like we live, we live in a world that just sad. That that's just sad, man. And hopefully, people that lives in that life, hope you guys make it out some somehow, some way. And it's just stay out of trouble, bro. Like, I, like it sucks, man. It sucks.